next on Real Stories of the Highway Patrol. Get back! Get back! Get back, get back now! I want everybody to get back! Troopers bust up a barroom brawl. I got the beat out of me. I did not do a damn thing. It's okay, somebody's coming out on the east side of the hotel. Arizona officers close in on a speed dealer. Hands up! Jody Get him on the roof! Shots Three armed gangsters in a terrifying escape run through crowded city streets. An exclusive moment-by-moment -moment report. These are the real stories of the Highway Patrol. Real Stories is brought to you by Arid Extra Extra Dry. Get a little closer with Arid. Some scuffle escalates into a bloody confrontation. Trooper Tony Callahan of the Ohio State Highway Patrol is called in to separate the combatants. Our uh, presence was requested to go to a, supposedly a bar fight. 13 will be out of the scene. Get back, everybody get back, get back, get back. He get back! Step back! Get back now! I want everybody to get back! I don't care! I want to protect I want to get back. I want to just get back. You want to protect me? Step back! Step back! Get 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 I want everybody just to calm down and stay away, okay? Just sit down and be quiet. There's a girl that hit me in the face in the bar and gave me a bloody nose. Okay. And I'll tell you right now, I want that. Come on. I want you two to get back. Come on. Get back here. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Stand up. Danny. Stand up. You did it. You did nothing. Danny did it when he out. You ain't stop. You ain't stop. Is it you ain't you can't do nothing, Danny. Yeah. I walked away from you, trying to save you. He did not want to fight. I ain't got shit on me. I'll You're pull my out right fight, now. Huh? I ain't got no shit. Shut up. Shut up. I ain't up. got no nothing. Honey, shut up, please. Are you the There's the nobody going to hit my pregnant wife. Shut up, honey. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I got a baby in my wife's belly. I understand you're upset. You are crazy, buddy. I'm crazy, Danny. Last time we met, you sucked punch me twice in the back of the head. You couldn't rip me a an inch. I jacked you. Shut you your hey. Do something, Danny. Come back here. Come back here. You know Just come back Danny, here. I'm doing all right. Stand in the back of this car. I don't want you to look at him, and I don't want you to talk to him, okay? All you're doing is making... avoid this all night, and he followed me out here. Well, all you're doing is making it worse by standing and yelling at him, okay? Just let him go, okay? Yeah, have when you... you get sucker punched, I really want to pick up... Do you have any ID on you? No, I don't. You don't have any ID on you? Back. Move your face back. Chill out. I don't know. First it was between two girls and I tried breaking it up. Okay. Apparently there's a more or less a domestic domestic dispute at a bar. Uh, we've got two or three subjects fighting. Uh, he's still this one's still a little bit out of control. That, this squad actually probably won't even won't even take care of him as long as he's acting like this. Somebody here hurt. He's got a busted lip as far as I know that's the only thing. What's his problem? Is he kicking? Here's the squad now. It's probably going to try and check him out as long as he's cooperative. It was a ride in there, but I can tell you the two girls' names started the whole fight. Mm -hmm. We have a designated driver. That means any, you know, uh -huh. drink or uh -huh. breathalyzer, she's not drink nothing. Okay. Nothing at all. No, that's not the issue right okay. now. Right now, the and issue is... She got her face busted up. The girl's not, I mean, I'm drunk, I'll admit it, but she's not done anything at all. Okay. She's not done nothing. I want to know what that girl's name is. Her name is Tara Charges. We'll, we'll get everything straightened out. You know, we're going to talk to everybody, okay? She's not okay. done nothing. Okay. We're gonna... I did not do one That is my husband right here, and I would like to know why he is in a cop car. He's the one that's got blood all over him. Okay. He's not done nothing. Yeah, obviously he's he was in a cop car because he hit me in the face. My husband hit yes, you in the face? Yes, he came up like this and hit me. I, I was Where's so your bruise man. at? He hit me right here. You ran away from my... That's why he came after, running after me. He's the one that's on the fat ass. 
Start another fight here. No, I'm not Does that make sense? Well, then let's. I want you two to go over there. Do not do that. Both of you. Yeah, go over there. Why is the news? I want you to relax, especially. You're not helping anything. Are you helping him at all? I just want him out. He's not that insane. Well, then let's give us time to where we can talk and question everybody to find out exactly what happened. Well, neck I just want to let you know that there's something in the bar. Which from two girls that were fighting. Okay. She left already. I think she was standing right there. Don't let nobody leave here because she's in the car. The other officer. It's going to take a few minutes, but we're going to everything straightened out. Sit tight a minute. Let them look at your head. How would you like it if you I understand your situation. Let them look at your head. How many times has this happened to me? I don't know how many times this look happened to Look at my records. You. Look at that red hair dude. See why I went to prison. Try to let him cool off for a little bit. This is my husband. Is he all right? Well, if he quit running his mouth. Can I tell him? Can I talk to him and tell him to quit running his mouth? You gonna calm down? I'm gonna calm down. Okay. I'm calm. Okay. You can't be. Yeah. Got my squad. Treat you. I got my okay. gun. Okay. Okay. I know. I'm all right, though. We want to make sure you're all right. I, Tony. He's just trying to make sure everything's all right. What am I supposed to do, honey? My child is at risk. Okay, I know that. Just let them down. look at your head real quick. Will you let them look you at your head up. real quick? Yeah, okay. but I'm not going to take the charge on this. Okay, well, don't say nothing. Just let them look at your head, okay? Okay, well, well, listen, I don't look at your head, okay, buddy? We'll get those adjusted for you in just a minute. This gentleman struck the female. Uh, her husband or soon-to-be husband then uh, went after him, continued to fight uh, throughout the throughout the whole thing. I guess there were some uh, wild fists thrown. A couple injuries were sustained by, I guess, innocent parties that were in the bar. Well, apparently there's some more injuries over here. The squad members have came over to take a look at another bloody nose. Uh, I think there's bloody noses all over the place. This was the scene of the, the big bar fight. There's blood all over the floor over here. It's got broken bottles, uh, tables tossed around. I guess your typical uh, bar fight scene. Uh, it's pretty much a mess. You own this establishment? You own this, yeah. this place? Every day happen. Oh, believe me. Why, why are they doing no. that? They're fighting here, they're doing here. We believe me. We, Bel we can't change this way. Believe me, I know. I've been, to, I've been through, through this we enough to know. We can't change this way. Yeah. Well, inside the bar, there was two girls that were fighting. We were dancing, and my girlfriend got her nose busted. And after everybody started fighting, it just went out, out of hand. They all started coming outside because they thought the cops were coming, and then another fight broke out outside. And, I mean, the rest of you seen what happened. It was really, it was a bad scene inside. It was over two girls fighting over a guy, is what it started out to be. And it just got out of hand. We calmed everybody down and broke up the fight that was going on as we arrived. All persons have been released, I believe. I don't believe anybody went to jail. Uh, a few were cited for disorderly conduct. Everybody seemed to be intoxicated, and that's probably actually the biggest factor in these bar fights. Everybody gets intoxicated, and they want to fight. The husband was charged with disorderly conduct. He faces up to six months in jail with fines of up to $1,000. The bar has had no problems since this incident, and the parties in question have not returned. The bartender paid out $500 in damages for broken pictures, tables, chairs, and glasses. Hey, somebody's coming out on the east side of the hotel. Next, Arizona officers close in on a speed dealer. Hands up! Jody Get him on the roof! Coming up, an inside look at the terrifying pursuit of armed and dangerous gangsters. Oh, we just got requested by Phoenix PD to help him to assist him on... Uh, taking the subject into custody. He's got a felony warrant, a real high bond, like $54,000 bond. Supposedly dealing pretty large quantities of uh, drugs. He's supposed to be at a hotel over here on the uh, east side of Phoenix. And we're trying to get over there right now to stage and to set up a plan to, to get this guy. Okay, so you guys will be the arrest team, okay? What we're gonna do is he pulls in and parks 
go ahead and block him in and just jump him right there. If he goes back to the motel. Yeah. He's if he doesn't, we'll have to make a traffic stop. I would rather have him stop. He is 1051. You know, he, he does have a $55,000 bond. He is a major methamphetamine dealer. He will run if he gets a chance. You know, I wouldn't trust him for a moment. He's looking for some real hard time. What we can do is just have a couple vehicles back over here with like two, three man vehicles. Boom, as soon as he pulls in. Well, though. we're going to know because they're going to be in communication with us yeah. coming back. They're going to say, hey, he's coming back in the parking lot right now. KJ, you go, you go in first. I'll go in second. Peel this way. Third car comes in behind you. So okay, let's get ready. Right. So, let's because this should be rocking. Okay. Coming out on the east side of the hotel. Yeah, we're coming in. We're going to the Holiday Inn right now to set up across um, from the park, main parking lot where we're going to do this. The subject we're looking for has just taken a female to her home, and when he comes back into the parking lot in his vehicle, when he parks his vehicle, at that time we're going to block him with our patrol cars. We're going to exit patrol cars and have him exit his car and take him into custody, hopefully without incident. So he's gonna come in right here. Okay guys, it looks like the primary is at the apartment. He's gonna be right. in here in just a minute. Okay, he's leaving guys. 654, is he left she's yet? Good. Yeah, he's about halfway there now. Susie. Okay, he's coming into the net, boys. And I wouldn't turn any headlights on either. Is he coming in from the east side? 10-4, east side. He's not in here, Jim. Did you see him turn in somewhere? So he's got to be close by here. He's coming in. Yep, that's him. That's him. Let's do it. That's our guy. That's our guy. Go, go, go. He just eyeballed me. You should have went to the right. You should have went to the right, right, Kevin. That's, right. that's okay. Hands up! Jody, Get him on the roof! Shut the car off. Put the car in park. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Slowly step out of the vehicle. Keep your hand up where I can see it, bud. Slowly step out. Keep your hands up. Turn away from me. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Back up about two steps. Keep coming back two more steps. Go down on your knees. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Slowly put your hands down on the ground and lay down on the ground. Bring your feet back. Lay down Bring on the ground. Bring your feet back. Lay down on the ground. Put your hands on your head. Okay, Ken, go in. Car clear. Any guns? Don't see. You got weapons. Yeah. Oh, we're code four at ten fifteen. This will be our subject. $54,950 bond. That's all just clean clothes. I found one crack pipe already. Where was that? It was right on the front seat. He stuffed it down in between the um, the two front seats there on the side. I found that already. I'm going to tell you anything wrong. I'm going to get a room. I mean, my girlfriend. And, uh, she got pissed off and left. And, and there was a friend of zero over there, and I just dropped her off. And I was coming back to crash out. And that's how I did. Well, if you have nothing to hide, you know, there's no reason not to let us go ahead and go ahead and keep it. I realize that, but there's no reason for this either. You couldn't have a fed me by mail. I left a P.O. box and everything. And I had no idea how to find it. Okay, well, we are searching your car and you. I mean, I got $1.70 in my pocket. I must be a heavy piece of dirt for you. a confirmed warrant. So well, they will be emptying your room out tomorrow, and if you know if need be, we'll be here tomorrow, or you can give us permission to search your room tonight. So, well, then why don't you give us permission to search your room? Because I mean, like this here, I'm getting handcuffed. Stupid fuss. No, you're getting you're getting handcuffed because you got a felony warrant out for your arrest. Well, I wasn't even notified in my four days. That's not up to us to notify you. I mean, they sent something out. Don't they? Well, I don't know if they do or not. I don't even know where the warrant's out of. Well, I don't either. Okay. So all we did, all we're doing is just serving the warrant. Warrant okay, it is a confirmed warrant. Well, I'll tell you right now, you got drug paraphernalia on you, which is another class six felony in your, in your car. So that's what we found so far. So I mean, we'll talk to you about that. I'm just telling you, so you're going to get charged with that too. I don't, I don't care about the drug paraphernalia, really. I'm going to go ahead and say if you want to go ahead and, and uh, help us through this thing. But if you want to go ahead and play hardball, like you know, if you want to, you can go ahead and do the same thing. So, I'm not trying to play hardball. You know? well, I'm just trying to get you. If you have property in there, I want to make sure you get it because you, if you have a wallet or cash or stuff that's yours. I got, I got a dollar seventy, man. Okay, so I understand that.
Okay. Let's go book this guy. All right. It, it turned out pretty good. Another drug dealer going to jail, though. That's it. Went more off the streets. That way he ain't selling drugs to no kids tonight. The suspect was charged with felony warrant narcotics trafficking. Due to the magnitude of this charge, his bond was set at $54,000. If convicted, he faces up to 15 years in prison with fines of up to $20,000. No drugs were discovered in the motel room. Next, an up-close look at the pursuit of armed and dangerous eight trade crips. California Highway Patrol Officer Jeff Owen was less than a year out of the academy and on patrol in the Alhambra area when he gets a call. Three armed robbers on the loose and headed westbound on Interstate 10 at high speed. With video shot as the actual pursuit was underway, Officer Owen tells the story of those dramatic moments in this edition of Trooper's Log. That morning, uh, I was monitoring dispatch and came out, the pursuit was coming to our area. Baldwin Park CHP was bringing in a pursuit of three suspects wanted for an armed robbery, and there had been shots fired. Uh, 101, the plate returns no wants, no record on file. They're there, uh, doing about 100 westbound for approaching grass. Apparently they are armed with a 45 caliber, shots were fired, and trying to still get further for you. I want at least three units. We've got three occupants with the armed. It was anywhere from 80 to 100 miles an hour. They were driving very, very recklessly, using the shoulders and the carpool lane. It was pretty dangerous. 10 for uh, H50S, one's advising that the vehicle apparently has exited at Florence. We copy turning westbound on Florence from the Harbor Freeway. We're advising LAPD. Uh, they slowed for intersections. They didn't stop. They were pretty determined to get away. Drove up on the sidewalk. There were a couple people standing on the sidewalk, and they had to get up against the building to keep from getting hit. It, it makes you mad, and it makes you want to catch them even more. This is the street where they exited the vehicle. The driver wanted to get out of the car and as fast as possible and didn't want to bother with putting it into gear. So they slowed to a, a safe enough speed where they could jump out and they did. Took off running. I copy party possibly running westbound. Can I have the air unit confirm it? Vermont at 83rd in the alley was the last location. Suspect on foot bill. I then chased him east, eventually taking him into custody. With the, the air unit up with sufficient units to um, to quell the situation if anything were to happen. So it gives you a little feeling of security to know that there's there's also people involved that are gonna support you. It was good to know that the other the one of the other subjects was caught and Pending an investigation, we may have all three of the suspects in custody. Next, an officer discusses the danger of high-speed pursuits. I positioned uh, myself on the on-ramp, waited for the pursuit to come into our area. When I started chasing this guy, um, the first thing that went through my mind was that they were armed and you know, what if, he, what if he turned around and started shooting, what would I do? I thought about my family. This is the street where they exited, an area known for its gangsters, a particular gang called Eight Trey Crips, which these suspects belong to. When I was chasing them, I was getting, I was getting tired and winded, and uh, things that were going through my mind were basically, I hoped he was getting tired too, and one of the one of the weird things that was going through my mind was I was glad I do stair stepper every day, you know. It's weird what you think about, but it's true. A whole lot of adrenaline and I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna stop till till he did. Yeah, after after this pursuit ended I was I was pretty pumped up. Um, the adrenaline that goes through your body is incredible. I couldn't go to sleep that night. Two of the suspects were charged with attempted murder and armed robbery. There is a warrant out for the arrest of the third suspect. 
J.T. Owen has been with the California Highway Patrol for one year. He is now working out of the Fresno office. The following safety tip is brought to you by Arid Extra Extra Dry. Get a little closer with Arid. You reach a highway crash moments after impact and no emergency personnel are on scene. What should you do? Well, the American Trauma Society and their bystander care program suggest your most important first step is call for help. Never assume aid is on the way. If two of you are in your car and you do not have a cellular phone, one can go for assistance while the other checks for injuries of the victims. Keep in mind your immediate phone call might make the difference in saving someone's life. 